Now this this is how I uh, I put a very flat bottom on on my uh, uh, bridges. Uh, I've lined the line up with this jig here. This is an Incra Miter Express jig, and I've got a very nice forced uh, carbide uh, saw blade in here that cuts absolutely flat, and I've, I've lined the lines up here and here. I've got it clamped down with this clamp that I've jig that I've little jig I built and I, I bought. And I'm going to uh, now normally I have I have the protector here, but this is just for for demonstration purposes. I'm wearing my face mask and uh, wearing uh, respiratory equipment to keep to keep from being uh, be poisoned by the the wood. And I step back to the side, turn the machine on, and cut it. As you can see, there's a, an extra piece of sapello wood here that can also be used for a blank. It's already got the center mark there. And there are some little tricks here. If I wanted to angle the, the legs a little bit like this, which is what you might do with a, either a skin head or a very uh, uh, low tension head uh, because, because the center is going to go down farther than the legs and it gives, a, it gives a little bit more stability, I would twist this slightly like this and then cut it and then twist the other end slightly like this and cut it which gives me a very shallow V. And uh, here, is, here is the final the product from this step absolutely flat uh, absolutely flat there. It's exactly the right height and I'm ready to go. Now this step is not absolutely necessary because you can do this with a handsaw or you can just grind off these little corners here, but I like to make a line cut here uh, and, and here just, to, just so I know uh, where, the, where the width of the, uh, the top will be. And so I've got it marked out for that, and I have a, a, you can't see it here, but a little straight line here. What I do is I put the saw like this, and put this right on the straight line, and it just cuts, cuts the angle that I want. Now again, these machines are very dangerous. You have to be very careful with them, uh, and I'm wearing the mask and uh, the respiratory equipment. Now this doesn't have to be perfect because you can fix it later on with the grind. But so what we have here is the ears come out here, both sides here. I've got a hole here, and I'm going to to grind it to these points here, to where there's just a small feet here and small feet here, small feet here, and you'll have a round here, and then this will be ground down like this and uh, smoothed off with the grinder, and that'll be the next step. Now this, this part is, the, is the, uh, the one that takes probably the most skill, but it's not that hard to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grind a, a hollow in here so that there'll be small feet here and here, here and here. Then I'm going to grind these ears down. Then I'm going to put it on here to decrease the, decrease the, uh, the width. And don't do this at home because you can blip your fingers very easily. It's very dangerous. But I, I've been doing it enough that I've only blipped them once. And then I'm going to shape it, and then that's all there is to it. This thing makes a lot of noise. I'm also going to turn on the, the vacuum because some of this dust can be quite toxic.
Now here is the basically the finished product for for uh, a cello banjo. Put my K on here, and notice that it has it has a slanted face like this and a straight face like this. We'll go to slot again next. 